Good afternoon. I'm Jim. I'm a volunteer naturalist out here at Bernheim Arboretum and Research Forest. And one of the things that I deal with a lot out here is birds. Now with coronavirus and COVID-19, a lot of folks have started to look at birds because they're basically bored. What am I going to do? Oh, look, there's a bird out my back window. And more and more people are getting involved in it. And I think personally that that's a great thing. Um, I've been birding my entire life. My mother got me started at a very early age. But if you're going to be out birding, there's certain things you need to do, certain things you need to learn. So today, I want to talk to you a little bit about bins. That's birding shorthand for binoculars. Now, binoculars are all different. They come in all shapes and sizes, all different price ranges. They all have a lot of stuff in common. These are some of the pairs that I've used over the years. You can see this really old pair of Bushnells right here. Um, I've had these probably since I was 18 years old, so you give you an idea how old they are. I've got another pair over in this pocket that I've used, occasionally for hunting. Very small, compact, lightweight. The pair that I use these days, right here, a nice big heavy pair. And of course, nice also lightweight pair here. Now what are some of the things that they have in common? You can see they're all different, but they all have a lot of things in common. Well first is, they all have a center hinge. They open up this way and go like that. And the reason for that hinge is so it can adjust to our eyes. We open it up. Have you ever seen in the movies when somebody looks through a pair of binoculars up on the bridge of the ship and the image they give you looks like this? It's complete Hollywood fiction. What you should see is an image that looks like this. That's why we have the center hinge. Whoops. We can adjust them like this to our eyes so that we have one circular image. Another thing they all have in common are numbers on here. These are an 8x32. These are a 10x42. So what do those numbers mean? Well, the first number is how many times it's going to magnify the image that you're looking at. If I'm looking at my naked eye and I bring up a pair of eight power binoculars or an 8x binocular, it's going to magnify that image eight times. If it has a 10, it's going to magnify 10 times. Now the second number basically is the measurement in millimeters across the front of your lens. The bigger that number, the more light that it's going to allow in gives you a much sharper and brighter image, especially in low light conditions or looking at something in the distance. How much do they cost? They can be a lot of money, they can be a little money. My advice when it comes to binoculars is spend what you can afford. I hate to use the words, these are inexpensive, because that's a relative term, and what's inexpensive to me may not be inexpensive to you. I know some folks that told me, oh, those binoculars are inexpensive. And when I looked at the price tag, I thought, that's more than a week's pay. That's not inexpensive in my book. Now, if you can't even afford to do this, that's not a problem. What a really great project and something that I've done before is this. Now you may recognize this. Looks kind of like a toilet paper roll. In this case, I actually use paper towel rolls because I didn't have toilet paper rolls. And a little bit of duct tape, and I'll show you how to do it. And you can bring it up. Now this does not have any magnifying power, but the science will show us, if you look it up, that it helps focus our eyes on what we're looking at. So if I'm looking at a bird through these, I may not get the magnification that I would get with this, but it blocks out all the other stuff around and all the distractions so that I can focus just on that bird. And it not only takes all that away, but looking through that little tube like this will also cause your eye to dilate which allows in even more light from that restricted area. So it enhances your vision. So how do you do it? Well, first, you take a paper towel tube. Or if you have toilet paper rolls, you can use those. And I cut them off about, I guess that's about four or five inches long. So you have two tubes. Now remember that first image I showed you where you have to have one circle and not two? So when you put them together, you can't just go like this. You've actually got to bring the front together like that so that you have one image. 
So it's going to end up being at an angle, kind of like that. And so what I do is I take my tape, which I pre-cut, and you can do this and decorate them up any way you want to. And I put that piece of tape around there. Now, how do I want to hold it at that angle? I'm going to take a piece of a stick, like this, and slide it in there as a spacer. Let's break that off a little shorter. Break that in there as a spacer. Another piece of tape. Right around there. And voila. I have my very own homemade binoculars, custom fit to my face. Have fun.